Hi friends, it's Miss Forrest here. I found this book in the classroom that I wanted to read, and I thought I might as well read it for all of you too. <clears throat> this book is called Flower Cats by Violet Moore. And you know how much Miss Forrest loves cats, so I just had to. Flower Cats. In my garden, under the bushes, and in the flowers, live tiny cats. I know they're there, but no one else does. They like to be kept secret from the world. Afraid that someone will try to take their beautiful, precious home away. They have entrusted me with their secret. And now I'm trusting you. I know you wouldn't try to take their home away. First is Iris, leader of the flower cats. And those are irises behind her. She keeps things organized and always knows what to do in a crisis. In her free time, she reminds the ants to move in a straight line and scolds the spider when her red webs are sloppy. Next is Clover, who is smaller than the rest and has a stubby, fluffy tail that bounces when she laughs. When things seem to be going wrong, Clover is always there to cheer everyone up and find the silver lining. When autumn comes, she loves to jump into a pile of freshly fallen leaves. Then there is Dandelion, who, well, how should I say this? I'm guessing Dandelion's the bad cat. Dandelion loves nothing more than to get into trouble. She loves adventure, exploring new parts of the garden and climbing the highest trees. so she can look down on everything with a bird's eye view. See her up in that tree? Rose, a wiry black kitty, is the thinker, the inventor. A hollow reed becomes a telescope, and she maps out constellations in the earth. You can look closely at rolled up leaves or broken twigs and know that Rose was making use of them. Last but not least is Violet, a cat with big purple eyes and fur as white as snow. She is the shy one of the bunch and enjoys making up stories and drawing pictures in solitude. Her best ideas come when she is alone. Then, when the others are feeling down, she always has a good story to cheer them up. Together, the flower cats live in my garden, knowing I will keep their secret. And I know you will, too. Look carefully today for scattered petals and well-trained ants. 
because your very own flower cats could be in your garden looking for new adventures. And bye until next time.